Hi, I am Dwi, and this video is about Profile of a Scholarly Writer Assignment for English Fast Planet Writing for Scholarly Publication by Professor Sully Rose. And as you can see here, I choose Dr. Pulke Matsuda as someone to write about Profile of Scholarly Writer. My personal reason to choose Dr. Matsuda because I am a second language writer myself, so I look up to Dr. Matsuda as someone who has the same identity with me as a second language writer but also have been long established in the field as second language writer in researcher. My personal reason is because my I have decided that my, that my area of interest for my future uh, thesis would be in uh, second language writing uh, research. So this is the perfect change for me to get to know more about it and familiarize myself into uh, the field. That's why I chose Dr. Matsuda. Here is the my favorite um, quote from my interview with Dr. Matsuda. He said that I am a non-native English speaking teacher and I am proud of it. So a little bit about Dr. Matsuda. He uh, complete his bachelor degree from the University of Wisconsin Stephen Point in the tree with journalism as major and psychology as minor. Then in 95, he completed uh, his master in um, Miami, Miami University with a thesis entitled Constructive Rhetorics, Constructive Rhetorics Toward a Pedagogical Theory of Second Language Writing. Then in 2000, he completed a PhD from Purdue University with a dissertation entitled ESL Writing in 20th Century U.S. Higher Education. He has appearances as assistant professor as well as associate professor throughout the years in my university, University of Hampshire, as well as Arizona State University. And he is now a professor of English and director of second language writing at ASU. Here is a little bit about how he found his goals in scholarly context. So he studied early as early as undergraduate undergrad. He found out that he need to learn writing as well as grammar. So he went to uh, his language teacher as well as writing teachers and he found phenomenon instead of an answer that writing teacher cannot teach language as well as language teacher cannot teach writing. So from that moment on, he has been advocating throughout his works of research to uh, advocate people that it is important to develop students' language and writing skills because this issue has been taken for granted. He provides solution throughout the years. And I choose best model from Helen Sword from the book Air and Light and Time and Space. There are four of them, as we all know, behavioral habits, nervous habits, social habits, as well as emotional habits. It is also important to note that I modify the questions as well as I come up with spontaneous questions to follow up uh, during the interview. Here is what I have found. For the behavior, Dr. Matsuda has special places for working on the writing. Uh, comparing to his grad school years, he usually uh, can be found writing in several spots, several places in campus. But now as a professor, he has his own office in a, in a, in a room in, a, in his house to do everything. He also claimed that he writes every day and he considers many things as writing, including uh, type in email as well as thinking like he write in his mind that also he considers the writing and he keep track of the schedule every day for the artisan he said that everyone can be a writer but not everyone can become a good writer this because i came with uh, like a statement from creative writing perspective that not everyone can be a writer so he is arguing that everyone can be a writer but not everyone can be a good writer which is totally makes sense and he said that scholarly writers need to have the knowledge in order to be a scholarly writers so next for the social he said that it is good to have hobbies and learn 
learn how people learn. Recently, he picking up new hobbies like scuba diving, cooking, and motorcycling. For emotional, he said that career writers see their writings as children, but not with scholarly writers. Scholarly writers see their works as as a strategy, strategically to plan what is next. This is um, especially from the perspective of Tatsu Masuda. He see his works, his writings as somewhat strategy, not as um, as her as his children like what the Kaiser Fridays tend to have emotional attachment but not with scholar writers not with Dr. Matsuda so from that we can conclude that Kaiser Fridays and scholar writers are two different identities two different entity next I have some lesson learned because I asked more than best model so here what I found English teacher versus writing teacher because we know that these two are different but instead of seeing them differently Dr. Matsuda uh, tend to say that tend to think that we, they are actually overlapping each other because English teacher needs writing and writing teacher needs language vice versa so yeah next be a proud NNEST the non-native English speaking teacher so as an as an NNEST we should be proud of our own identity because somehow native the word native could have like positive connotation comparing to non-native having negative connotation for Dr. Masuda it doesn't have to be like that so we need to be proud next feature of second language writing research he said that second language writing scholars can start exploring new topics as well as start covering unexposed topics and lastly but not least is advice for aspiring and emerging scholars read everything and you will see things better read everything here doesn't mean you have read everything but you read everything and you keep reading and never stop reading at the end you will get to see things better and everything start makes sense that's what dr matsuda emphasized on and here is my documentation with dr matsuda during the interview and last quote latin quote here nulla dies sine linea which mean no day without a single line this is also uh, one of my favorite quote uh, from my interview with dr matsuda so as a good writer we need to keep writing every day even if it's just a single line okay that's all for the presentation thank you